live in HD. This is 2 News at 10. Well, wars in South Asia can be very stressful for those men and women in the battle zone. It also goes for our weapons of war as well. The government is spending billions to replace a marine helicopter and a local company is part of the project. Fields Mosley joining us live. What are they making here, Fields? Well, Shauna, ITT Integrated Structures is producing large sections out of composite materials. This is expensive, high-tech work, probably means production in Utah for at least the next 20 years. It's as big as a ski boat, but you might not recognize what it is without the rest of the helicopter. The Sikorsky CH-53K Super Stallion will be the next heavy lift aircraft to transport Marines and equipment from ships or air bases. When you take a look at that sponson behind you, there are over 50 composite parts on that and some in, uh, 25 feet in length. All the fabrication and assembly was done right here in Salt Lake City by Utah employees. This happens to be the left sponson piece on the side of the helicopter that holds landing gear and extra fuel tanks. One of the many new aspects of the Super Stallion is the composite airframe. Carbon fiber composites and what it does is it enables a much lighter vehicle. Lighter yet stronger, able to lift twice as much as the helicopter it will replace. Making it out of carbon fiber takes special manufacturing tools and expertise. We're one of four companies uh, across the United States that are on this, that are building the entire aircraft. On the go. The helicopter will replace the CH-53E that was developed in the 1970s. New materials mean it is stronger, but it should also be safer while using less fuel and requiring less maintenance. Right now the program is scheduled to order 200 more units. And so what you're seeing here hopefully is running through our shop in a huge capacity in the next uh, five, six years. And that piece unveiled today will be on one of the first seven Super Stallions that are supposed to be in the air by 2013, with at least 200 more to follow. Now, the price tag on the development of this project started at about $3 billion, but will likely balloon to closer to $4 billion by 2018. Back to you, Mark and Sean. All right, Fields, thanks.